Hello friends! The third generation of semiconductors pave their way every single day, with a huge number of companies working in this field. So let's take a closer look at what is new in power semiconductors industry. Toshiba Electronic Devices and Storage Corporation has developed a model-based development simulation technology that shortens verification times for automotive semiconductors by about 90%. The technology allows automotive equipment developers to quickly evaluate designs using Toshiba's automotive semiconductors, helping to shorten development times. Toshiba's new modeling technology, AccuROM, separately calculates the electronic circuits and the mechanical components. First it verifies the mechanical components, then simplifies the model for mechanical components and finally verifies the total system, including its electric circuits. This approach eliminates unnecessary calculations. A Gallium Nitride Wafer Epifoundry Ancris Semiconductor announced that it has demonstrated a series of high-quality 300mm Gallium Nitride on silicon HEMT Epi Wafers of excellent thickness uniformity and low wafer bulk for 200, 650 and 1200 volt power applications, paving the way for device processing using more sophisticated 300mm CMOS compatible lines. The advances in the gallium nitride epitaxy on large size silicon substrates have enabled gallium nitride on silicon power devices with impressive performance and reliability by combining the full advantage of both the remarkable properties of gallium nitride and of production in a CMOS compatible processing line. Nowadays, commercial gallium nitride power devices based on gallium nitride on silicon HEMT technology platform have gained a tremendous momentum to enter a wide range of applications. Driven by cost reduction and more sophisticated integrated circuit design, the industry is moving towards larger wafer size. Shawadenko has concluded a long-term supply contract with Toshiba Electronic Devices and Storage Corporation, a Japanese electronic device manufacturer providing highly efficient silicon carbide power semiconductor-based power devices for the global market, to supply silicon carbide epitaxial wafers for power semiconductors for two and a half years with an optional extension clause. Toshiba decided to conclude this long-term contract because the company appreciated homogeneity in properties and low density of surface effects of silicon carbide epi wafers manufactured by Showa Denka. This long-term contract will further strengthen technical cooperation between Showa Denka and Toshiba on improvement in performance of silicon carbide epi wafers. In addition, Showa Denka expects that Toshiba's adoption of silicon carbide epi wafers manufactured by Showa Denka will help to expand its silicon carbide epi wafers business further. Samco Corporation announced to issue new shares of the company through public offering. The company and its group companies produces high-quality silicon wafers used in semiconductor devices and has a wide range of product development capabilities and technological capabilities, covering large to small diameter silicon wafers and by establishing a stable supply system through making the best use of such capabilities, the company group contributes to the development of society. In particular, Samco is concentrated on the enhancement and improvement of its technological capabilities to meet the extremely strict quality and cost demands of customers, and is striving to raise the company's standing in semiconductor silicon wafer industry. Against the backdrop of continued strong demand for semiconductors used by 5G, smartphones, data centers, automobiles, and so on, demand for 300mm silicon wafers is expected to continue to grow steadily. 2.6, a global supplier of silicon carbide substrates and devices, announced that it received two excellent partner awards from Sumitomo Electric Industries and its subsidiary, Sumitomo Electric Device Innovations. 2.6 and Sumitomo are also collaborating to establish a vertically integrated 150mm wafer fabrication platform to manufacture state-of-the-art gallium nitride on silicon carbide HEMT devices that will enable next-generation wireless networks. Kisai Technologies a leading technology company that delivers advanced design and validation solutions to help accelerate innovation to connect and secure the world, and National Central University Optical Sciences Center announced a collaboration to improve the design and test validation efficiency of gallium nitride and silicon carbide applications, accelerating the pace of 5G and electric vehicle innovation. Optical Sciences Center successfully used Keysight's dynamic power tester platform to establish a third-generation wireband gap semiconductor open laboratory to improve development and testing efficiency. As the GDAC, a global leader in developing open standards and publications for the microelectronics industry, continues to define the dynamic testing of wireband gap devices, standardized tests are starting to emerge. The Keysight dynamic power tester determines the key performance parameters which match all standards, such as turn on, off and switching characteristics, dynamic on resistance, dynamic current and voltage, as well as reverse recovery, gate charge and device output characteristics. 
Driven by numerous factors, the car industry is undergoing dramatic changes. A chip shortage resulting from a conjunction of many events started in November 2020 and could last beyond second half of 2022. A direct consequence has a chip price increase of up to 20% and disruption in the supply chain. In 2021, many countries announced aggressive plans to reduce CO2 emissions through car electrification. The value of semiconductors at the chip level in cars will grow from 34.4 billion in 2020 to 78.5 billion US dollars in 2026. The largest growth will be in electric vehicles due to the major shift to electrification. A complete outlook of the automotive semiconductors market and its trends are available in the latest Yoli development report. That's it for today. Thanks everyone for watching. As usual, more market news coming next week. Meanwhile, go to Market Insight website for more information or join me in social media. Keep in touch.